Hello there, this is Holly from Let's Plan making a tutorial video walkthrough of my health and fitness planner. I um, wanted to let you know I am using an iPad. I have the Good Notes app installed to read my planner on my iPad. This planner can be used on different devices and also with different apps. If you're unfamiliar with the current app you're using, head to YouTube and search it and you will find many results of people using the planners and different devices. Um, it does help just watching this video even if you're using a different device or app because most of the apps work in a very similar manner. It's just you need to know where the tools are within the app to use the planner. So let's get started. To open this planner, you would just swipe over and it brings you to the index page. From here, everything is hyperlinked. So all the tabs on the outside um, are the same as the writing on the index page. So you have two ways really to navigate this planner, going back to your index page and clicking through from there, or using your outside tabs and clicking through from there. Let me show you quickly, like any of these um, written tabs take you to that page. So that was the medication log. So we have your medication log and your doctor's appointments. And then you could click back to index and it will take you back to the index page. Um, for time purposes, I'm just gonna walk through all the outside tabs to show you what they are and kind of what pages you have to work with. And then I'll show you a couple of the tools within GoodNotes and how to do a few things. So let's get started. First, I'm going to click on this tab over here, the About Me and Measurements page, obviously self-explanatory. Go ahead and track your measurements if that's what you're doing. It's nice to come back and refresh the before and after. Next, we have the mood and symptom trackers. If you're into tracking your moods or if you have health issues and need to track your symptoms, this is great. You can put the month in and then check off every day that you have that symptom. Next, we have the page you just saw, doctor's appointments and medication logs. Um, let me show you quickly how you can duplicate any page within this planner. It's very easy to do. Um, if you're in Good Notes and you don't see your toolbar option, you go ahead and click on that and it drops this top bar down. If your planner doesn't fit, you can just squeeze it and bring it in uh, smaller. So up here in the corner, the second icon in that looks like the pen with the circle around it. If you click on that, it's going to take you to the toolbar mode. So this right now is the hyperlink mode, which is called read only. Click on this and this is the editing mode and it gives you your toolbar. So that's how you would use um, all the tools within the uh, app itself. So right now it's on the pen tool. So if I wanted to write a date like 9-3 and I needed to write info in here, I could go ahead and do that. If I wanted to erase anything next to that, I have the erase tool and I can do that. So in um, how you can duplicate this page is over here, top icon again next to the editing mode. You can click on that piece of paper there. Gives you this drop down window. Gives you the option to put your page before, after, or last. Leave it on after is my um, my opinion that works best because when you're dropping new pages into the planner, they won't be hyperlinked like the original page because the planner gets hyperlinked before you receive it. So always click it on after, click on the picture, and there it is. So now I have two of those. So if I were to take my finger and swipe back, it shows the original one and then it's dropped one right behind it. This is great Like if you like to keep records and you wanna go back and look um, you know, when your last doctor's appointment was, what it was, you can just go ahead and duplicate these instead of erasing information. So let's turn it back to hyperlink mode so our tabs will work. Next, we're gonna click on period and self-care tracker. So this is if you like to give yourself routines and then you can check off each day of the week that you've done your routine. This period, period tracker is great um, you know, if you wanna track your periods and then all your symptoms that come with it. Um, if you're unfamiliar how to use this chart or how to fill in key colors or anything like that, if you head over to my Etsy store, I sell this period tracker individually and you can see there in the listing kind of how it works and learn a little bit more about it. If you're not sure how to fill it out, I don't want to waste time on this video because it gets long. Um, let's go ahead to the next one. Vitamins and supplements tracker. Obviously, you just write down the names and then check off each day that you remember to take it. The next one is healthy recipe index. So here we have 
12 different categories that you can add recipes into. This is great if you're dieting or restricted um, and you wanna keep all your recipes in one place. So what you would do is from here, you click on any of these different categories and it's going to jump you to that recipe page. So all these lines here with the numbers one through 20 are spaces for you to add a recipe. So every category has 20 spaces. Each of these lines is hyperlinked to their own recipe page. So you click on that after you've written your recipe in it brings you here. You can write your title again, add a picture, and then all your instructions and ingredients. Um, and you can get back to your recipe index or recipe list right here are two hyperlink tabs. So if I hit list, it'll take me to back to the breakfast. If I hit index, it'll take me back to the main index page. So that works the same. Like if you wanted to click on vegan, it's going to take you to your vegan page. And because this is a double page planner, you're going to get the next category with it. But if you were to click on um, dairy free, you know, it'd bring you to the same page. So that's how that works. It's really nice to keep all the recipes in one place. Next, we're going to click on progress and photos. So this is where you would add a before and after photo. If you're trying to um, lose weight, you know, transform your body, you can keep track of all your important information here. This also gives you um, your journey through photos. If you would like to update a uh, photo every now and then with your current weight. It's inspirational just to see what you started at and then what you can end at. Like I said, you can duplicate any page. Let me show you quickly how you would add a photo into your planner within GoodNotes. So I need to go back and click on my toolbar. So I'm clicking off the hyperlink mode. This gives me the toolbar. About in the middle, there is a picture icon. If you click on that, your pictures are gonna show up over here if your pictures are linked on your cloud. So I have all my cloud linked between my computer, my phone, my iPad. Um, you can click anywhere on the page. It's gonna give you this pop-up window. So these are the same photos as up here, just a little bit bigger. So um, because my life is planners, I have a lot of planner pages. Let's find a photo of a person. So here we go. I'm gonna click on that. Just takes a second for your cloud to work. It'll pop it on the screen. So obviously this photo is too big. So let me go ahead and crop it. So I would do that by either the bar at the top or the side. Click on one of those. It gives you the option to crop. Then you can drag these blue dots in to get rid of any area you don't want. So you would just drag, 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 you know, get rid of any background, try to get it to the right proportion. Sometimes you do have to play with it. So here's a picture and you can just do that. If you need to crop again, you go ahead and click crop and then you could even get rid of more of it and then it would fit better. And then this circle down here at the bottom corner, you can drag and it will make it to the size you want. So you can play with it. If you got it on there and decided, oh, don't like that picture, the red circle with the X, you click on it and it takes it away. So um, pictures are PNG files. Your stickers are PNG files. Your digital inserts are PNG files. So really screenshots are also PNG files. That's how you would put any of your um, things you wanna add into your planner. That's how easy it is. When we get down to the custom sections, I'll show you how you would add it in from a um, file folder that you have stored on your iPad or your device. So let's go keep going here. I'm gonna click off the editing mode, back to our hyperlink mode. Next, we have a weight tracker. So this is great if you wanna lose weight, you have a 30 day tracker, go ahead and fill this out, start dates and whatnot. Next, we have the healthy um, journaling and well-being section. This is really great if you enjoy journaling or even if you don't, it's great to do to just track your progress and how you're feeling about everything. And then it's really nice to come back to later to review and see how your progress went. Down here, we have this custom section. So all these, you have four different custom sections. This is great if you need to add anything into this planner, or like if you have digital inserts um, of some kind of weight tracker or something you wanna follow, this is where you could add these areas. So what you would do is title one of these boxes here, write your title in, click on it. It's going to take you to the section page. If you click on this again, oh, I might have stickers in here, I do. I was showing an example how to do this. Let me go back to section two, just to show you the blank. So you click on your title, click on your title again after you filled it out. So these are five blank pages in here that you have to add in anything you want to add. Let me show you how you would do that from your file folder. So on the iPad, what I like to do is slide up from the bottom and I get this dock. 
and this blue folder is the files within my iPad. Sometimes it doesn't show up because of whatever else I've clicked on, not even sure why. But the end here has a pile up of all your apps. If you click on that, you'll be able to find your blue folder. You place your finger on it and you slide it over to the side. It creates a split screen. And then from here, you can find the file that you wanna add into your iPad. If you don't see your file up here at the top where it says files with the arrow, if you click that, it will take you back. You may have to click it a few times depending on where you left off last. It'll finally get you to this page where the arrow's gone, you can't click anymore. You can click on recents, you can click it stored on my iPad or in my cloud or if it's a download. So let's just go to recents. I think I have a ton of stickers in here right now. Um, well, here's some that aren't, don't need to load. So you would slide through, find your digital inserts, find your pictures, find whatever you wanted to add onto this page. You simply put your finger onto it, slide it over, let go. That's how easy it is to get the split screen gone. You just take that middle bar, slide it over to the side. So this happens to be a PNG sticker. Um, to move it, you go ahead and click, oops, if that's not highlighted, click on that. You go ahead and click it again. It'll put this box around it. You have the opportunity to crop it. Like if you're trying to fit a page onto this blank white page, that's what you could do. If you wanted to shrink it down, you would go ahead and do that. So that's how easy it is to add stickers, inserts, screenshots, anything you need to add within that planner. Just go ahead and do it from your file folders or you can do it from um, the little pop-up window I showed you how to do the photo. So you have a couple options there. It's super easy to do. If you get it on your page, you don't like it, just go ahead and click that. Um, and that's it. So let's go ahead and turn off the hyperlink mode and go over here to the top. We have the index tab. I'm not gonna show you that again. We have note paper tab. These are the different note papers that come with this planner. Um, if you like to make lists, like I said, and any of these can be duplicated. This sticker page is for my customers that don't have good notes really. Well, even if you have good notes, you can use this, but if you're using a different app and you don't get the good notes sticker book, that's usable with your app. This is where you would add your PNG stickers and you can do either one of the methods I just showed you. If you need more explanation with your PNG stickers and your GoodNotes sticker book come videos, tutorial videos and written instructions that show you how to do that further. So if you go back to that PDF that came with your order, when you're downloading your stickers, you'll find the video there explaining a little more on how to use the stickers and how to copy and paste them within your planner. So you do get five of these, and like I said, you can duplicate as many as you need. So let's go ahead and go to the next tab. We have goals. So you have four different goal pages, individual pages that you can set and duplicate if you do need more. Um, what you would do is write down your goal, you add, click on that, it'll take you to the goal page. This is where you would go ahead and write more information of why you're doing the goal, what motivates you, and then kind of a review of how your goal went and what you've learned from it. So you can go and do four of those. Next we have 30 day challenge. So this gives you a 30 day challenge if you wanted to work on something. And then each time you check off one of these little uh, circles, you go ahead and check one off for each day of the week and you get to the end, it's obviously 30 days. So let's click on January. I'm just gonna walk you through January to save time because all of the months are laid out the exact same way. So every month you will get the main month's fitness page. Um, this is an undated planner, so you will need to go ahead and date your planner. Um, let me go ahead and turn on the toolbar. And it's already on the pen tool, but I like to zoom in because it is small with all the information on these little squares. So I zoom in and then, you know, I could write three, four, whatever I'm writing. I can write in my dates. Um, you have the option too to do text mode on the iPad. So this T here, you can click on that. If you wanted to use your keyboard instead of writing, you can do that and you can change your fonts and your font size and get it, you know, where you want. Um, you can also use your date stickers that come with your planner and pop those on and resize them for the little squares or if you do the circle. So there's a few different ways you can date this. Let's go ahead and go to um, the first page here. I'm gonna go back to the, my hyperlink mode. So every month you will get a step and sleep tracker. So this takes you to step and sleep tracker for every month. It's kind of like a graph. You go ahead and fill it out. At the end, you can total up your month. 
um, up at the top, you have all these are hyperlinked to get back to the main pages within every month. So every month you get the workouts, the meals, the habits, the sleep tracker and step tracker. So it's kind of nice you can jump through within the month pages because those probably are going to be the pages you use the most. So let me show you up here. Next, we'll click on the habit and reflection. Oh, turn on my pen. Come on, why are you not working? My pen has been giving me issues today. There we go. I think it needs to be charged. So you click on habit tracker. So this is where you would go ahead and write down the habits for the month. And then you can come here and click off every time you do one of those habits every day. This page, monthly reflection journal, just to see how your month is going, what you would change, um, how you felt about your month. Then up here, we have that same little toolbar. Let me see if I can get these are kind of small, get back, there we go. So we have weekly fitness. So you get five weekly fitness sheets within every month, just so those months that have those few extra days, you're not robbed trying to figure out what to do. So to get to the next month or the next week, you would go ahead and click on week two. It jumps you to week two, same thing, week three, whatnot. You can go through for each day of the week. This allows you to write down your exercises if you're keeping track of time, distance, weights, whatnot. A small little habit tracker down here for you. Then each of those are linked to their own meal page. So each week you have a meal page. This allows you to keep track or plan ahead. Um, you get to keep track of your calories, protein, sugars, carbs, whatnot. Fill out this. So you have lunch, breakfast, dinner, and snacks at the very bottom. You can total up all of your um, intake for each day. So you have your totals if you're keeping track of that type of thing. Then each of these up here, you have five again, just like the workout one, and you can click, click on each one to get to the different week. Each of these meal planners comes with their own grocery list. So over here, we have the grocery list. You click on that, it'll take you to that week one's grocery list. So if I were to go to week two, so we're on week two, if I click grocery list again, it'll take me to week two's grocery list. So it's really nice, you can do this. Um, you can copy and paste writing, like if you need to transfer writing from one week to another. So you have, um, all of your grocery lists here and within your month to keep track of. So that's how all the months would work. Everything is interlinked within the month to make it super easy to get to. Um, I think I covered everything. So every month, like I said, is the same. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to message me on Etsy. I'm always available. Thank you for your purchase and I hope this planner helps you on your health and fitness journey.